us three minutes and we'll give you the world. This is Media Break with Bo Harlan and Rocky Crenshaw. Up first, bad news for Germany, where a rise in anti-corporate terrorist attacks prompted Teutonic Corps, that country's largest company, to announce it's moving its headquarters to Iceland. Here at home, the chairman of Omni Consumer Products denied rumors of a similar move by OCP. No, no, rest assured, OCP has no intention of relocating now or in the future. After all, this is our home. The search continues for convicted bomber Felix Weber, who escaped from the Henry Ford Center for the Morally Challenged late last night. Police fear that the one-time research scientist may renew his deadly campaign of bombing facilities owned by OCP, his former employer. Before his capture by police 12 years ago, Weber, made famous by the movie The Mad Bomber of Old Detroit, held the city virtually hostage in a six-month reign of terror. You have reached the Detroit Police Emergency Hotline. Please hold. Do not hang up, as your call will be answered much sooner. Typical CP efficiency. Police hotline, can I help you? Yes. This is Felix Weber. I want to report a bomb. Thank you. Please hold. As we celebrate our first half century, Let's remember the qualities that made OCP great. Determination, drive, and guts. Other companies may respond to this insidious fad of anti-corporate violence by running away. But as usual, OCP has a better idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly give you our new anti-corporate terrorism unit, the ACT Squad. CPACT unit reporting for duty, sir! Thanks, Mr. Granger. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with the best equipped, most technically advanced force of its kind, we're sending a message to the Felix Webbers of the world who think they can violently overthrow corporate culture. Don't try it at OCP. Attention, a bomb threat has been reported. Please evacuate the premises. Do not panic. Remain calm. Exit in an orderly fashion. Thank you. This side, people. No, don't use the elevators. Please, go on this side. This side. That's right. Yes, you told him, huh? Is the threat genuine, Sergeant? I'm afraid so, sir. The voice print we matched with the caller, Max Felix Weber. In that case, I'll take over. This is Mr. Granger, Sergeant. He heads up our anti-corporate terrorism squad. And any threat to OCP personnel or property is my jurisdiction. Since when? The memo just went out. You should have it on your desk by the end of the day. Mem Kate? Sir. See that the chairman gets to safety. Yes, sir. This way, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I didn't order those candles lit. There is a bomb in the cake. Live bomb. Activate the electro shield. Take cover. safe to come out now. Oh, Alex. If you hadn't put on that badge, you'd be with us now. It's time to go, Dorothy. Oh 
Command Shark the flat line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody clear! Officer Alex Murphy, shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you. Is this Murphy? Is it our Murphy? Uh-huh. Robo's parents? Why them? Russell Murphy was the police captain who tracked down Felix Weber 12 years ago. Oh, so now Weber wants revenge. without some damn machine scaring her half out of her wits. I'm fine. I was just... startled. Are you injured, ma'am? No. It's only a scratch. It's just a scratch. Here, let mommy make it all better. Well, luckily, Weber missed his target. Luck had nothing to do with it. Felix knew I'd recognize the sound of that detonator priming. I've heard it too many times before. This was just his way of saying hello. Yeah, well, just to be sure, I want to put you and Mrs. Murphy in a safe house. Forget it. Felix never repeats himself. He'll go after his real enemy now, OCP. He already has. Robocop defused the bomb planted at OCP Towers less than an hour ago. Has this thing got some kind of a computer memory? Um, Robocop's more than just a computer, sir. Describe the bomb's detonator. Let's work on our multiplication tables. Incendiary fuses with time delay magnesium flash igniters. Fuses? <laughs> that was no bomb. That was Felix's idea of a joke. Sergeant, if I were you, I'd post SWAT teams at every OCP facility. You may be right, Mr. Murphy, but it's Granger's territory now. Granger? Stu Granger? Tall? Brush cut? Acts like he's got a computer up in... Russell, do you know him? All too well. And so does Felix. OCP doesn't stand a chance. Come on, Dorothy, it's time for us to go home. Well, at least let me assign you some protection until we catch Weber. That's a waste of manpower. Felix doesn't want to kill me. Well, you were responsible for catching him the first time, sir. That makes you a pretty good target for revenge. He wants me to stay alive so I can watch him finish what he started 12 years ago. That's his revenge. He seems to have a real handle on this Weber guy. I'd like to find out what else he knows. You volunteering for bodyguard duty? I guess I am. I will assist Detective Madigan. Felix Weber is back. Bo? Yes, the mad bomber of old Detroit struck with a vengeance, detonating bombs at two OCP facilities. The first blast ripped through Noxicorp, OCP's automated industrial waste recycling facility. While minutes later, a second bomb destroyed a pet recycling booth at the Omni Shopping Mall in Delta City. Stuart Granger of OCP's new anti-corporate terrorism squad confirmed Weber's connection to the bombings. In fact, due to my ACT unit's state-of-the-art technology, we know these bombs were the work of Felix Weber. And I assure you, the same technology will lead to his speedy capture. Thank you. Uh, Granger thinks Felix can be numbered and graphed bull. Felix is too complex. You gotta get inside his head, understand his hatred for OCP, his macabre sense of humor, and his pathological obsession with spiders. So who's winning? Ooh, I just don't think chess is my game. <laughs> I know how you feel, dear. In 35 years of marriage, I've only beaten him once. 
And I think it's because he let me win. I don't suppose you drink coffee? No, thank you. That's our son, Alex. He was a police officer like his father. He was killed on duty. I am sorry. Uh, partner. You're much better at this game than I am. How about giving me a hand? Well, I have never seen a computer that could play real chess. They can be programmed with all the moves, but in the end, they're mechanical, predictable. Well, Mer <clears throat> Robo is the undefeated champ at Metro South. Now, my son, he was a real chess player. I taught him all the moves, but he had imagination and guts. The human factor. You can't program that into a machine. This is the Velikovsky Gambit. Your opponent will be distracted by your king. He'll never see it coming. Your move. How did you learn that? I had a good teacher. Uh, Mr. Murphy, you're still a cop at heart, right? I can't believe that you would just sit back and let Weber endanger lives. What choice do I have? Well, talk to Granger. Offer him your help. He's not going to listen to me. Well, it's worth a shot. Detective Madigan is right. A good cop must protect the innocent. I never thought I'd see the day when a robot would remind me what it takes to be a good cop. It's amazing what machines can do these days. If it goes bang, bang, I got it. Have a look around, take your time. Nice tattoo. Reminds me about the one my mother used to have. It's my symbol of protest against a corporate culture that destroys dreams for the sake of profit. That's fine by me. I mean, what do I know about politics, right? I just supply the hardware. I want something special. Special? That's my middle name. We've got Cobra assault cannons here. We've got Auto 9 Avengers. we got Cougar Smart Missiles. All the nice, easy credit terms. And if you want, I can negotiate a nice discount on quantity orders. No, I'm looking for something much more sophisticated. Much more powerful. Hmm. Well, that is a very special one. Yes. It's going to cost you extra. Money is no object. It's for a birthday gift. I know Granger. The last thing he wants is my help. Well, it can't hurt to try. Thanks for the offer, Murphy, but I'm afraid you'd just get in the way. Stu, you haven't changed a bit. Felix is going to eat you alive. Guys, come on. We're on the same side here, right? The name of this game is Stop Weber. Mr. Murphy happens to have extensive knowledge of the... So do I. Step over here and I'll show you what modern law enforcement is all about. Superior technology. That's the key to catching a terrorist. Complete physical, psychological, and genetic data on Felix Weber. Expanded four times daily with flash ROM updates. You still don't get it. The reason Felix does what he does is that he hates all this. This is the enemy. 
and Felix is smart enough to study his prey, to learn how it thinks. He'll take your precious technology and use it against you, just like a spider trapping a fly. You always were hostile to change. This is a waste of time. The chairman wants you in the boardroom immediately, sir. Granger, the stockholders are demanding an explanation for the Noxicore bombing. Why did OCP spend a fortune on your ACT squad if Felix Weber can plant bombs right under our noses? He's an extremely clever adversary, sir, but we'll get him. Weber's last rampage nearly shut us down. The world's fourth largest corporation brought to its knees by a kook who thought he could grow hair using spider venom. We can't let it happen again, Granger. You have my word, sir. I'll hold you to that. Okay, I need a detailed situation grid of old Detroit and Delta City. Right. And keep! Call up a map of all Weber's bombings 12 years ago. Okay, post in all of Felix's target senses escape. Looks pretty random. Felix always has a pattern. When we boarded his strike points 12 years ago, at first we thought it was random. Then we joined them all together and it formed a precise spider web. That's it, sir. All of Felix Weber's previous bomb targets. Right. Now. Why about everything but the first five strikes? And call up a comparison grid with the five he's planted since his escape. This time, the fly is going to trap the spider. Sergeant Parks on the line for Detective Madigan. Madigan, there's an audio-only call from Weber for Captain Murphy. We're trying to decode and trace, but he's jamming the signal. Keep him on the line as long as you can. Put him through. Hello, Captain. It's been a long time. Not long enough. It's good to have you back in the game. I didn't expect my little surprise package at the cemetery would kill you. I wanted you alive for the grand finale. OCP will pay for betraying me 12 years ago. You were fired for conducting unauthorized research. The hair growth serum that I distilled from Spider's Venom was worth a fortune. It meant hope for millions of old sufferers like myself. Those fools at OCP destroyed my research. They destroyed me. Felix, listen. And now I'm going to destroy OCP. I'm spinning a different web this time, Captain. At midnight, the towers fall and the city dies. Call Trace. Incomplete. <laughs> He's repeating his old pattern. He's not so smart. Call up the location of the sixth target 12 years ago. Bullseye! OCP Commemorative Park. That's got to be Weber's next target. No, it feels wrong. We're, we're missing something. Well, this fits his previous web pattern. Weber said he was spinning a different web this time. Yeah, but which one? If only I had my old spider research here. I am accessing data from the Michigan State Entomology Department. That'll do it. Have them index up all known spider web patterns. Now, run a probability scan based on his pattern 12 years ago and correlate it with his latest strikes. Then, locate and ID the nearest OCP facility. The commemorative park? That's it. That is his next target. Congratulations. Brilliant, sir. Yeah. May I have a web? Let's go catch the spider. Orb web. No, that's the pattern Felix used before. Go ahead. Hammock web. No, go on. Hold it, freeze. Sheet web. All right, erase all the old targets and redraw the lines connecting the recent bombings. All right, now do a pattern comparison with the sheet spider web. Perfect match. Now in the midpoint of the sheet, draw a line straight down. Where the spider hangs in wait. The OCP refinery? We better get over there fast. I'll tell Parks to warn Granger. Electronic components, microchip circuitry, some control switches with dedicated programs for vertical, horizontal, and volume? 
Explosives? Detonators? No, sir, but I do get traces of rubber and latex. Open it up. Me, sir? We're right behind you, Lemke. Shit! Well, welcome to Omni Consumer Products. Should you need assistance, please refer to our automated guides located throughout the lobby. And remember, OCP cares. Scott, let's go! I'm in there right now. They're coming down. Let's go. Hustle up. Hustle up. Is it beeping? No. Good. That means the detonator isn't active. Can you do an internal scan? The bomb has reacted to my thermographic scan. It has activated. Oh my god. Felix must have seen you coming. He rigged it with a thermograph alarm. You triggered the detonation system. It could go at any second. Shield up! Electronic timer with a geometric sequence. Not good. The beeps will get closer and closer together when they become a steady tone. The device explodes. Here's what we have to do. We have to unscrew the housing and find the circuit breaker without disturbing the motion sensor. Perhaps my sense of touch is more precise. ACT squad Lemke here. Of course, OCP Tower. I'll tell him. Sergeant Parks at Metro South. He says Russell Murphy's located Weber's bomb at the OCP refinery. Damn! I'll take squad four to the refinery. You get over to OCP Towers with squads five and six and begin a full evacuation. I want that place locked up and everybody out of there before midnight. <sighs> Can you see the circuit breaker? Yes. Can you touch it? No. It is too small. Twenty years from the force you get used to the feel and the weight of it in your pocket. Can you take my hand and guide the pin to the circuit breaker? going on here? Russell Murphy found one of Weber's bombs. He and Robocop are in there trying to defuse it. You let a civilian play with a bomb? That old geezer could get us all killed! Felix thought of everything. I hope nothing else goes wrong. You still see the circuit breaker? Yes. 
But you're gonna have to talk me in. Here goes. Murphy, what are you doing there? What does it look like? We're defusing a bomb. You are not authorized for that. Stu, shut up. Slowly. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Up, down. Make up your mind. Up. Perfect. Push the button. Now. Murphy. Well, I had a good partner. It's amazing what machines can do these days. <laughs> All stations secure, sir. No one can enter or exit the building without being spotted. Good. Now, if Weber makes a move, we'll have him right where we want him. Reach in the boardroom, sir. Call it up on the monitor. He took the bait. Now let's go and spring the trap. Come in, Granger. Join the party. But I suggest you put your guns down. Kill me, and you'll die too. You and everyone else for miles around. Welcome to Ground Zero. Tears for quarters at your local pet recycling center. Where poor Puff can be recycled into pet food for hungry cats and dogs everywhere. And it's worth a quarter. Wow, a whole quarter. So don't forget, recycle, recycle your pet. pet. Animal recycling bins are located at all OCP superstores. Earn money, it helps keep our streets clean too. Workers at OCP Towers got a scare today when they were ordered to evacuate the building. But OCP denied the move was prompted by rumors of a bomb threat made by Felix Weber, the mad bomber of old Detroit. A company spokesman said everybody was simply given the day off to celebrate the company's 50th anniversary. Is it true, Sergeant? Does this madman really have a nuclear device? That's what Weber said when he called Metro South. He also claims to have two hostages up there. Where is Granger? It seems that uh, Granger is one of the hostages. Guys, Weber's jamming another broadcast in the police emergency van. This is Stuart Granger. I'm being held prisoner by Felix Weber. He has asked me to read the following statement. He has the detonator of an explosive device wired to a pulse monitoring trigger that is connected to his carotid artery. If he's killed, the stopping of his heartbeat will instantly detonate the bomb. For God's sake, help! He's crazy! He's shut, shut up! up! 
Okay, listen to me. This is OCP's 50th birthday, and I've prepared a very special surprise to celebrate. So I want to talk to the big cheese at OCP. So get the chairman on this line now, or I'll light the biggest birthday candle you've ever seen, and we'll all sit back and get an instant tan from the Delta City's first nuclear explosion! That's clear, right? Good Lord. Without the ACT squad, OCP's at Weber's mercy. Isn't there anything you can do? The police don't have jurisdiction on OCP property, remember? I'm rescinding that policy immediately. You have a memo on your desk by morning. I can stop him. You make one mistake up there and all of Delta City blows. You got a plan, partner? I will need a helicopter. Chairman, you don't understand feelings. He's making a statement. This is all he has to live for. He doesn't want to negotiate. We have to play his game. Listen to him, sir. He knows what he's talking about. Thank you, Detective. But if there's anything I know, it's how to negotiate. Scotty, switch to stealth mode. Roger, switching to stealth. Felix Weber, this is the chairman of OCP. Hello, Mr. Chairman. It's been a long time. Say, is that a receding hairline I see? <laughs> let, let, let's get down to business, shall we? How much would it take to convince you to end this insanity? Is he talking about money? Of course. Just name your prize. Do you really think that you can pay me back for losing my job? My research? My beautiful spiders? My hair? You destroyed my life! <laughs> I don't want your money. I want revenge. I've just activated the timer. We have five minutes to live. How much is your money worth now, old man? <laughs> he didn't even make a proper demand. That's not negotiating. Robocop, come in. Felix has triggered the timer. He says we've got less than five minutes before it goes off. If we don't move fast, this whole city gets wiped out. Do you read? The bomb goes off in less than five minutes. I will need to use the repel cannon. It's right there, loaded and ready. Robocop, do you read? We've got less than five minutes before the bomb goes off. Even if we could reach the boardroom, there isn't enough time to stop detonation. It's up to you now. Do you read me? Robocop, come in. Let me talk to Russell. He wants to talk to you. What is it? You must get Felix to move away from the window. How? He's through talking. Try the Velikovsky gambit. The Velikovsky? How did you... Yeah, maybe. 
But how do I distract Felix so he doesn't see it coming? Use the king. King. Gonna say any last prayers? Better make them less than four minutes. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Felix, this is Russell Murphy. Well, the ex Captain Murphy. Oh, I'm glad you could be around for the grand finale. I want you to know the chairman of OCP has been arrested on charges of stealing your research and firing you without proper cause. You're lying. No, it's true. See for yourself. You'll never buy this. Worth a try, sir, unless you got a better idea. He's also charged with destroying the environment, gouging consumers, and selling faulty products designed to break down. Hold on! That is not true! Save it! Tell it to the judge. Let's go. Yeah. Well, it's about time! It took 12 years, I had to nuke half of Michigan. But it was worth it. Stop the bomb, Felix. You've won. Forget it. I've come too far. This old goat in shackles is the last thing I ever want to see. Now I can die a happy man. And when Delta City goes up in a mushroom cloud, it'll be a lesson for corporations that you don't screw over the little people! stop detonation. The only way is to unlock and remove the PAL link cap that fastens the two bomb spheres. <laughs> now, remove the front panel. Now you have to reach the disengage switch. Need something smaller than those fingers of yours. There is no disengage switch. I am transmitting a picture. Damn! The last Felix puzzle! Russell, look at Felix's tattoo red hourglass pattern. A female Black Widow. It's possible, but if we're wrong... We will know soon.
all right? The danger has passed. <laughs> oh. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Very good, sir. I knew you could do it, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Murphy, we could use a man like you, perhaps as a consultant. Thanks, Mr. Chairman, but I have a grandson that takes up most of my time these days. Understand. That was nice work up there. I had a good partner. For what it's worth, you're a damn good cop. So are you, sir. I must go. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Yeah.